Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel and welcome to this weekend's Pisces Marathon. Today we're going to be doing a love reading for Pisces, okay? So we're going to be doing a spread past, present, and future for singles and past, present, and future for people who are in a relationship or who are dating someone. I would love if someone out there would be kind enough to set in the comments below the time stamp of the first section of the reading and the other section of the reading. I would really appreciate that, you guys. And that way, you know, if you're coupled, you don't need to necessarily hear ooh, the reading of the singles, etc. Okay, this is like drowning in wax. Let me see. All right, guys. So, let's see if this works. <laughs> All right, well, maybe. All right, there we go. So, past, present, and future, starting with the singles. Okay, let's shuffle. My loves, news, we got one of those sales that don't really happen anymore. No, not one of the amazing 50% sales. This one, everything on the website is only 12 bucks. I know, it's insane, I know. <laughs> That's why it's only gonna last, you know, this weekend. It's not gonna go all the way until Monday or next week. So if you would like the Abundance Blueprint course, if you would like the tons of tools that we have to manifest the ideal love, check that out. You're not going to get a better price ever, <laughs> okay? So make the most out of that, Pisces. I invite you. All right, spirit. Past, present, and future single Pisces. I'm going to get three cards per section. Okay, so I see that in the recent past, some of you may have connected to someone that you've known for a really long time. This could have been a childhood friend. This could have been someone who has always been around. I get kind of like a, a friend of your brother's or like a family friend or someone that you went to pre-kinder with. <laughs> Something along those lines. This person may be you know, recently showing up, maybe the retrogrades brought this person to you. And you may be even, if that's not the case, you may be romanticizing the past, a past relationship, something that meant a lot to you back then. And you may be reminding yourself constantly of this connection. Maybe other things, signals and things like that are actually reminding you. Maybe someone has recently reached out to you, an ex or someone who maybe has always liked you. We have the emperor here, and this could be associated with an Aries person or someone who you consider has their life put together. Someone you consider victorious in life, someone who maybe you feel like you had a very victorious relationship in the past, or someone that you feel could be a wonderful partner to you. This person may be a little bit full of themselves, but it seems like you don't entirely mind. Because <laughs> there seems to be this, um, honestly, a little bit of arrogance, but also very sweet feelings that maybe they have for you or you have for them. Now, in the present... I see that you have chosen something new. You have chosen the right path for you and spirit wants to acknowledge that. So if recently you have said, I want to be single for the next six months, if that is a decision that you made or anything along those lines, spirit is telling you this is the right choice. Okay. If you have chosen consciously one thing or another, in this area of your life, spirit is saying yes. And I say new thing because of the fool. 
The Fool is often, you know, this energy in which you're so excited about something new. You are inspired. You want to take a leap of faith. You want to enjoy, you know, this energy of inspiration and sort of like, you know, leap. Take a leap. It's always recommended with The Fool, though, to take your brain with you. <laughs> and you may, it may even feel very, like annoying when you're in that energy of inspiration and passion and you know feeling kind of up in the clouds to even think about your brain <laughs> but it is always recommended to take your brain with you because you know this is always depicted as someone who's taking a leap but the spirit guides always represented by some kind of you know animal pet whatever and every deck is different but there's always the symbology of someone advising the fool to be careful because he's so entertained, so looking at the possibilities above that he's about to fall off a cliff. <laughs> so there's always kind of like this warning with the fool. Don't do anything stupid, you know, enjoy the energy, enjoy all of that, but take your brain with you. And it is confirmed here as well with the king of swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, an Aquarius who is in your life. You may be starting something with them, thinking about starting something with them. Um, and this could be someone who's very rational. This could be someone who, yes, they have their inspiration, their passion, they have their emotions. But when decisions come in, this is the person that brings logic into the dynamic, okay? It's like, they're the ones that are like, okay, we're very, very much in love, but this has to be done this way and that way and this way. And not necessarily out of like their attachment to their opinion, but an overall sense of being smart about things. You know, you may be in the present very connected to this energy of the mind. And it may be wrestling with that full energy a little bit. interesting but i'm very very happy <laughs> to say that the cards that you have in the near future are the six of swords the star and the ten of cups so goodness gracious this is gonna get even better okay first the six of swords talks about you leaving behind something that just wasn't right for you okay you leaving something that didn't quite fit into your life you're moving into calmer waters, you're choosing a different future, and with that, you get your wishes fulfilled. You get the highest, most successful form of emotional connection. Your wishes granted, your prayers heard and answered. The perfect person for you is going to be coming in the future, okay? If that is what you want, know that this is going to manifest. Look at that, Ten of Cups and the star card. I don't know if it gets any better than that for a love reading, to be honest. Ten of Cups is just joy. It's love. It's connection in ways that erase all difficulty from the past. It's like it just comes in, this energy comes in with all these powerful love vibes and then you forget <laughs> everything that was wrong in this area. I'm going to add one more card from this other deck. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't remember the name of these decks. I know they're really cute. I just don't remember. I'm so sorry. All right. Additional clarification for Pisces past. Single Pisces. We got the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Cute. I like it. Many of you have spent quite a bit of time figuring this thing called love out. <laughs> you know, trial and error. Doing this results in that. Doing that results in this. Learning through the years how people tend to react, what kind of person you want, what kind of person you are. 
it has been quite the you know long process some of you may have had a big hit when you had your saturn return it may have to do with romantic uh life but for some of you it may be affected you in another area while you were probably around your 30s, 27 or 30 or something like that. And it may really have awakened you. Some of you right now are feeling very burdened by being single and maybe not knowing how to change that, not understanding. After all of these experiences and everything you've learned, still having a question mark in regards to this area of your life. Some of you may be like, I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I have everything to be, you know, like, I'm a catch. You know what I mean? Like, why am I not in a successful relationship? What is blocked? What is going on? Of course, there's tools for you on the website. If you want to check them out, you know, check them out. At the same time, though, I get a feeling that you're very burdened. Others of you could be very burdened about other things. And maybe right now, love is not necessarily something you can give attention to. It'll be different for every person. And in the near future, you've got the moon. I think that you're not going to see this coming. You're not going to see this coming. The love that you're manifesting is going to take you by surprise. Okay? Alright, so let's move now into the Pisces. Those Pisces who are coupled, okay? Let me separate this real quick. Coupled Pisces. Let's see, what are the messages for you, my beautiful coupled Pisces? In this one, we're going to be doing it a little different from the other one. We're going to use this deck as the main one and the other as clarification, okay? Take what resonates with you, as always, leave the rest behind. And I remind you, if you just jump all the way up to this part of the video, that we're having a massive sale this weekend. That's our news for the week. <laughs> you guys know that every week I have news for you, and this would be it. Everything in the website, all the online courses that are usually 50 bucks, are, now, are right now just 12 bucks. Okay, for limited time only, of course, I'm not going to be offering these discounts for long because I got to pay the bills, you know. <laughs> so make the most out of them while they're here, okay? All right. Past, present, and future for coupled Pisces. Past, present, and future for Pisces. Coupled Pisces. All right, beautiful. So in the recent past, I see that you have been, you and your partner possibly, you have been very focused on productivity. Many of you are trying to be everywhere and do everything every day. You know, this would be kind of like the vibe of being very successful at work, being very productive around the house, being very active as far as working out and eating well. Um, you know, being a supportive mother or father. It's like doing everything at the same time and doing it very well. That may have been the sole focus recently for you. With this person, you may feel safe. With this person, I get a feeling that they not only love you, but they really are there for you. It's like, It's like every time that they need to show up, they will. And even at times in which you feel like they don't necessarily have to show up for you, they will too. This person loves you very much. This could have been a person that you're with right now, someone who at you know, the beginning or before, it was some someone who you already met before, before engaging in a connection. This could be someone who you've known for quite some time even. For some of you, it could be a Cancer, could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be the case, but those are the energies that are showing up here. I get a feeling that in order to manifest this relationship, you had to really do some deep healing. Okay, some of you had to really understand what was hidden in your subconscious. What beliefs were keeping you from maybe seeing this person in this light or 
from manifesting the openness in your heart to bring in love. Maybe that was a process that, you know, with the moon card here, took a while and it had a lot to do with the subconscious. Maybe even this person always felt in love with you and that could have been a secret because the moon is um, a card of secrets as well. Now in the present, we see here, wow, the Ten of Cups. Those of you who are in connections right now may be very emotionally fulfilled, okay? You may be feeling amazing, connecting wholeheartedly. As far as life goes, though, it may feel like you need a little bit of a break. I feel like you've been pushing yourself a lot. Maybe your partner has too. And it wouldn't hurt to just take some time to unwind with your person, you know, relax with your person. Have some time to almost like find refuge in the other. Is that a word? Refuge? Like a safe place? Okay. But the King of Cups, I think that in this connection, there is a lot of emotional maturity from both sides. And I feel like that is what's creating something very, very beautiful. I think that you both are ready to take this all the way. Whatever that means for you. Some of you are very interested in marriage and for whatever reason maybe you're feeling like you need to be patient with that like maybe the other person is not ready yet or maybe the circumstances haven't necessarily aligned um, for that moment to arrive some of you may get frustrated with this some of you may be kind of like crying over spilled milk but there's really no need to like this seems to be very harmonious past, present, and future, to be honest. Some of you are also going to be focusing a lot on yourselves. Some of you may be feeling burnt out, and I get a sense that it's like the both of you, like both people in the partnership may realize, damn, like I'm feeling burnt out. We need to rest. We need to take better care of ourselves. You know, we need to prioritize being in our center, prioritize our spiritual practice even. All right, let's get some clarifiers. For the recent past, we have the Queen of Swords. You could also be maybe dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's air and fire, or someone who's also Cancer, maybe like a combination of all of these signs in their chart. And I feel like this person is keeping the other person's feet on the ground, if that makes sense. Like whether this is you or someone else, it's like someone is anchoring down all these feelings of love into practicality. And there's someone here, like the communication can be very open. Someone here feels very comfortable to say things as they are and don't necessarily have to be rude, you know, but really honest. Like there's a very important sense of honesty here. Then we got here the page of pentacles in the near future. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you're both working a lot on yourselves. You're both working a lot on maybe the initial stages of creating a business or creating abundance or creating a stable foundation in the physical realm. Some of you may be in the beginning stages of a new um, eating regime or workout or something. And in the future, not, no less than the Ace of Cups. You guys, this is beautiful. You are with the right person. You are living something that is healthy and beautiful. And if this resonates with you, all of these messages are here to let you know that just as good as it is right now, it's going to continue to be. And that it can be even better, okay? For those of you who feel like you're in a connection right now and don't resonate with any of these positive things then that in and of itself is a message, okay? All right, Pisces, I love you so much. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video if you like it, 
And if you ever want to support the channel and let me know that these readings help in any way, you can also do a donation. The link is going to be in the description box below. All right? I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next reading.